In this video, I'm going to describe the difference between multiple correlation and multiple regression. I often see the two terms used sometimes interchangeably, but they actually have a different meaning. And I'll show that the multiple regression is related to beta weights and coefficients, but multiple correlation is related to model R. And I'm going to show that multiple correlation is really just a Pearson correlation. So if you understand Pearson correlation, then perhaps surprisingly you also understand multiple correlation. So what I've done is I've simulated some data to consist of two independent variables and one dependent variable. And the purpose of the analysis is to uh, maximally predict the dependent variable based on a combination of independent variable 1 and 2. So I'm going to analyze regression and linear and I'm going to include the two independent variables in the independent box and the dependent variable in the dependent box. I'm going to click OK. And here are the results. So the model R comes out to 0 0.710, uh, which implies that 50% or 50.4% of the variance in the dependent variable was accounted for by the combination of the independent variables. And this is statistically significant. Now, how does this value of 0.71 come about. What is that? Well, it's a combination, yes, of the two independent variables uh, created to maximally predict the dependent variable. But in very real terms, this multiple R is simply a Pearson correlation. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you a little bit the, the long way, showing you how these beta weights correspond to the multiple R, even though this is really the multiple regression. So in order to show that multiple R is just a Pearson R, what I need to do is I need to create predicted dependent variable values. And there's a there are two ways that I can think of to do that. I'm going to do it uh, a little bit the long way just to show you the uh, inherent, uh, just to understand multiple regression better. So dependent predicted and the way that you would predict the dependent variable is by using the regression equation which has an intercept of negative 2.28 and two unstandardized beta weights equal to 0 0.604 need to multiply that by this independent variable. I'll assume that you already understand the regression equation in multiple regression and then I need to add the second predictor 0.426 times independent variable 2 so this is the multiple regression equation in the unstandardized form. I've got the intercept, negative 2.228, plus the product of the unstandardized slope for independent variable 1, which is multiplied by the independent variable 1 cases, case values. And then I'm doing the same thing with independent variable 2, multiplying independent variable 2 values by the unstandardized slope. So that's where those values come from negative 2.228 plus 0.604 multiplied by independent 1, etc. And this is going to create predicted values, dependent variable predicted values. Click on OK. And SPSS will have created a variable called dependent variable predicted. Now if you look at the dependent variable and dependent variable predicted, you'll see that the scores are to some degree similar. And the question is, well, how similar are they? This multiple regression created a regression equation. How good is it at predicting the actual dependent variables? Well, I can estimate that by calculating a correlation between the dependent variable and the predicted dependent variable. And I get exactly 0 0.710, which is exactly the same thing that you would get from the model summary. So to me, when I was learning statistics, this was uh, insightful to me to know that the multiple correlation in the context of multiple regression is really just a Pearson correlation. It's a Pearson correlation between the predicted values uh, determined by the regression equation and the dependent variable values. Now what's also interesting about creating this dependent variable in predicted values is that it opens up the possibility of creating something I've, I've never actually seen in a manuscript before is a multiple regression scatter plot. And I'm going to do that in a separate video.